I wonder if he just stays lit up all the time. Let's go ahead and... Um... Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that did go. You played a trick on me, sir, who sounds sort of like Johnny Punk. All right, guys, today I am in Perrysburg, Ohio, and what do my eyes see but a spirit Halloween in an old Best Buy. Look at this. You can still see the old tag scar up there. And there is the new sign, at least the temporary sign. They must have actually just got done putting up that sign or taking down that one because there is a lift. So let's go in and see what awaits. Thank you, automatic doors. Oh, and looky here, guys. They actually, it looks like at least, that they actually have all the new props set up. We got Leatherface over here. We got Kingpin over here. And we have the Martian straight ahead. I know I keep giving this guy a lot of different names so far, but I think what I'm gonna settle on is Papa Pins. From now on, his name is Papa Pins. All right, let's get him going here. I gotta be honest, I almost called him Granny Pins because of the blue hair. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get Leatherface going here. Hello, sir. Now, what I want you to see on here is the coolest thing, and that is that the chain actually goes around. Look at that. He is so cool. It's funny, like, how barrel-chested he is, too. I did notice that we're not hearing the hoot owl in here today, or maybe at least we have to come up here to trigger it. Hmm, okay, it's not triggering, but let's go ahead because guys, I am so excited to be taking a look at this guy right here. The Martian Warrior is what they're calling him, and he is a prop from the movie Mars Attacks. Look how cool he is. Oh my gosh, that is such a good looking prop right there so awesome i just wonder like i've seen i haven't seen him in action but i guess there's supposed to be like mist that comes out his gun i don't know if you hook up like a fog machine to him or what the deal is but let's get him going So the front is lighting up there. So I don't know. I need to like look up somebody else's video. I try not to watch too many videos on these things so that I can see them for myself for the first time. But yeah, they're supposed to be spitting out something from the end of that gun. All right, let's keep on moving here. Holy crap. Look at this, guys. We got a whole stack of things over here we're going to check out in just a second. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we have young Crouchy. Hello, Mr. Hairdo. I missed you. <laughs> Young hairdo. Okay, let's go ahead and go through here. All right, let's go into the crypt here. And here we have the scary. So wait a minute, is this a scary one? Yeah, it is. Okay, I thought it was the regular sitting scarecrow for a minute. Please, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> You were playing tricks on me. All right, I guess you've earned some stickers, sir. There you go. Yeah, you're not burning my face today. You had your shot, sir. You scared me once, you don't get to do it again. Let's come on over here to Dagger Mike. Wait a minute, does he have a, oh, here it is. Okay, it's on the other side. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he usually like looking down? Let's see if he puts his head down. He he's a slow goer. <laughs> 
he moves back down very slow. Okay, so no, for some reason he didn't put his head down, but that was still pretty good. He jumps a lot faster than I ever expected him to. And hello, Mr. Grimm. Nice to meet you again. Oh my gosh, guys, before I even move on to the rest of the animatronics that are set up, look at this. I, I am blown away. They have like everything. Okay, look at this. They have Leatherface here. They have a Mars Attacks alien on the bottom. Wait, are these just the empty boxes? No, the props are actually in them, so they are available right here, right now, to buy in, where are we? Perrysburg, Ohio. They even have Emmeline. They have Darling Dolly. They have a Desmodus over here. Wow, that's a big box for him. They have the holding, holding, they have the holding spirit. We have the howling spirit here. And on this side, we have another Emmeline. Is it Emmeline or Emmeline? I'm not even sure. And another Darling Dolly. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I am so excited to see all those right there, right now. And look at this, guys. She is even set up over here. We got to stand back. She's only a place taker right now, so she's been unplugged. But we're going to get to see how she acts right here. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that face. Oh my gosh, that is like one of the coolest props ever. So look how long she jumps out, and she actually jumps straight forward. So they have to keep her unplugged, they just have her set up here so that there's something in the place. And how cool, I'm so glad I got to see her in action. Wow, she is 279 and well worth it. She is so awesome. Okay, let's keep moving around here. We have Slim. All right, let's go ahead and get Slim going here with his Mickey Mouse hands. Come on, mister. I gotta say, I mean, he's cool looking and he would be an awesome prop to have, but I'm honestly just disappointed that all he does is lean over and then lean back up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you know what? Let's put a sticker in his bag just for the heck of it. There you go. Okay, let's move around this side, guys, and here's the man. Poor George. Let's get him going here. Somebody told me I should call him Bottomless George because I called, uh, I can't even think of what his name is, the other guy, Bottomless Joe, last year. <laughs> What the heck is his name even? I can't even remember. Oh my gosh, look at what we have back here, guys. We have a sandworm groundbreaker. We have two sandworm groundbreakers. How cool. I was actually looking online yesterday to see if I could find the sandworm inflatable, but man, they're like 300 bucks now on eBay. And look at this. Somebody was asking online the other day if they were going to sell Leatherface's uh, chainsaw here. And look, here it is with the moving blade and everything. Very cool. Guys, this setup back here is so awesome right now. Look at this. They even have a little Jack Carver over here. In fact, let's come on over here and check him out. Okay, this must... Oh, wait. Oh, it's this chick. <laughs> Why do they call him a chick? Is it a he or is it a she? Hello, sir or miss. She is very, very cool. Yes, you gotta love the howling spirit there. Look at this. I don't think I realized before how the belly lights up too. Very cool. Okay, anyways, back to little Jack Carver. That's what I wanna see. Look how he's all lit up already. I wonder if he just stays lit up all the time. Let's go ahead and, um, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that did go. You played a trick on me, sir, who sounds sort of like Johnny Punk. That was pretty dang cool. Man, he shot that head up so fast. And he does kind of sound like Johnny Punk. I wonder if the person who does Johnny Punk's voice does him too. The only difference is he has no shoes. Where are those? <laughs> All right, we got to see that one more time here. Come on now. Here we go. Yes. That is so cool. I love this guy so much. All right, so we have the Lord Farquaad headstone here. We have the uh, the gargoyle guy right here. Oh my gosh, what an awesome setup this year, guys. I just, I tell you what, I got to give them props for all of this. And what a bonus that this lady is here to scare us. 
I'm so glad we got to see her in action. So anyways, all right, let's keep on moving here back behind. Look at this. I love all the white. It just looks like ghosts here, which I mean, it actually is ghosts, so that makes sense. Okay, anyways. <laughs> So here's our jumping spider friend. Hello, sir. Good job. I wonder why the doors are open though. That's kind of strange. Here we go, guys. Des, wait a minute. I hear you, sir. <laughs> yes, little skelly bones. Okay, here we go. Desmodus. I think I've only seen him in two stores so far. Of course, I've only been to about six or seven stores. I hear you, sir. Okay, let's get him going here. Here we go. Yeah, how cool is that? Man, he is so fast when he jumps up. Very spooky vampire bat. And I love how the, the podium is like a tree with vines on it. So cool. Okay, we got the black heart over here. And I'll tell you what, guys, since it's so loud in here, we're not even going to turn him on because I already know. You know what? All right, forget it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, Mr. Blackheart, come on now. Okay, he's kind of loud. Your light, your past, you will stay with me for the rest of eternity. We actually could hear him pretty good. I'm glad I decided to go ahead and turn him on there. Oh my gosh, guys, even more things on the floor here, but we have a couple more to look at here, and one of them is Gordo. All right, let's get this guy going here. Come on, Gordo, come on. Here we go. Very cool. I love when he jumps up that this stuff is like up inside and then it falls. That is so very cool. And people keep telling me to put stickers inside the pumpkin, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just afraid that it'll somehow interfere with the action. And I don't wanna be, you know, causing any problems or anything. So anyways, here's a spooky tree. And right beside the spooky tree is Darling. Dolly, whom I called Darling Dollar in, what was it, the first store, the flagship store, I think? Go ahead and get her going here. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> she is so cool. Let's move your hair out of your eyes there, miss. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. She is so creepy. Man, this is an awesome store, guys. All right, let's take a look at all the stuff that they have here on the floor. They have four sitting scarecrows. Actually, two of them here are sitting scarecrows. These two over here, or at least the one on top, is a scary sitting scarecrow. We got the little skelly bones. We got the straw man. We got a slim over here. And on the other side, as we come back around, we have two more straw mans. Over here, we have a little Jack Carver right there. We have an eternal rest right there. We have two Bubba man's possessed friends. And we have a stilts here. Oh, and around the back, we have one more Bubba here. Holy crap, look at what we have right here, guys. Not only do we have the awesome inflatable snake that I want, the awesome inflatable ghost face that's 12 feet tall, but we have the 12 feet tall Pennywise inflatable. Look at that, he is huge. How much is he? He's $179, man. I'll probably end up buying him by the end of the season. Do you think I should buy it now? Would you tell me anyways? Whoa, <laughs> look right on the other side of the secret keeping cats. See, they didn't tell me about this because they know it's way cool. So they're gonna keep it a secret to themselves. Look at this. I, I think this is the first time seeing this for me. Oh my gosh, how much is this? $19.99, that is totally awesome right there. I'm kind of surprised that it doesn't light up at all but what an awesome prop that is. We got the skull stacks down here. We have the pumpkin stacks over here, both of which are equally awesome. Let's come back over here to the zombie babies for a minute because I see where they have this guy. This guy's a little bit too evil, but let's see if we can get him going. Look at that. I can't even hear him. I wonder if you can turn him up. Hmm, okay, I'm not gonna mess with it. He's kind of a, a heavy guy there. I mean, these are cool looking, but I am definitely not into the horns thing, especially on angels. 
We got this guy and this girl and this guy and these guys. And we have Mothy Max. I really like the look on his face right there and those blue eyes that stick out. And I like how he's eating the silence of the lambs. Look, he's already eaten one off here. And we also have Gutsy Gwen. Oh my gosh, Gutsy Gwen who has been broken. I am not happy. Somebody broke Gutsy Gwen. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like glued in there or something. I'm gonna have to take her up front and let them know. Okay, I dropped off Gutsy Gwen. Now it's back through the fun house. So unfortunately we can't see that one in action right now, but they do have the Sam Horror Baby and that appears to be the only horror baby that they have at the moment, but how cool is this guy. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. It's a ghost face wreath and it's got little red lights around it that light up. Did you see that? Yes, we got the ghost face face, the mask, the knife, and the lights. Very cool. This is the first time I'm seeing this guy too. I thought it was that little plastic one, but this one's like ceramic. Ah, oh, sweet, look at the pumpkin, how he lights up. That is very cool. What I thought it was was one of these little plastic ones like these guys. Look, I didn't realize he's holding a cotton candy cocoon. That is so cool. We got Sam here. We got the snow globe here with the Martian. Oh, here he goes making his sounds. I think we actually have to get him going though like this. And look at this awesome ghost face mug. Is that clear? I think it's clear where like whatever you fill it up with, you can see through the face there. Ooh, look at this awesome sign. I don't think I've seen this before. Welcome to the Overlook Hotel. That's from The Shining. Okay, back over here. This is another really cool thing that I just noticed, guys. It's a Friday the 13th Jason mask light. That is pretty awesome. And they also have the Pennywise mask light. That's pretty cool looking. I think I'd go for Jason though. Ooh, we got the Texas Chainsaw Mask or Leather Face Mask here and my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street 4 mask. Now that doesn't mean that Nightmare on Elm Street 4 the movie is my favorite. My favorite is part one, but as far as the mask goes, I think that's the best looking one. Hmm, I wonder why there's random Freddy masks just laying around. Let's go ahead and put that back. Hello, sir. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be buying one of those before I leave today. We got the Chains of Death. We have the Hookhead Hog here. I was thrown off because I saw the ham hock and I always have to laugh now when I see the ham hock. You guys need to come over to the Facebook page that Nate Guys and Gals and post videos of you with the ham hock. One ham hock for sale. We have the bag o' bones, the spooky witch, the spooky pumpkin here, the reaper with wings going crazy over here and look at this guys. We have a six foot hanging ghost and a five foot six inch hanging clown. Excuse me, sir, are you still talking? <laughs> this store is very well stocked, guys. Look at this, we got all these guys here. We have the scary flying ghosts here. We have the Isle of Bad Breath here, mainly because of this guy. And then down here around the corner, we have some door knockers. Ooh, we have this pumpkin light right here. Let's see, does he light up? Yeah, the button's not working, but we do have these posable spiders and we have Carrot right here, in which whom I bought yesterday. The Creeping Cats, the Secret Keeping Cats, and Scabs, who needs to be right up here with his best friend forever, Carrot. 